Okay, so I've heard this idea that the future is set and it and already fixed, but that can't be right, can it? Because well, look, I've seen Terminator 2. That made it very clear that you can change the future, and it's not like they ever made any disappointing sequels that contradicted that film. So, look, come on, is, is the future set? There is some interesting, let's say suggestive stuff from Relativity in particular that suggests that the future is actually just kind of the same as the past in that it is sort of already set or that the future and the present and the past all kind of exist the same way. Okay, right. You're going to have to walk me through this. So first of all, Relativity, that's the theory that Einstein came up with. Yeah, yeah. Einstein came up with Relativity and it, it tells us a lot about the nature of space and time. Relativity has a bunch of consequences that I think people have heard about. Like, you know, it can make clocks run slower. Like, time goes more slowly when you go fast. And and I think people have heard about that, and that's been in movies and stuff. But one thing that I don't think has really shown up in movies uh, is this other effect of relativity. I think one of the reasons it hasn't shown up is because it has a really sort of weird-sounding name. It's called loss of simultaneity. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and so the way that you normally talk about it in, say, your freshman relativity class is you say, okay, well, if you have two synchronized clocks on a train or a rocket ship, something going some speed, um, and they're synchronized according to the people on the train, let's say, then according to the people on the train platform, they won't be synchronized. The, the clock at the front of the train will be running slow compared to the clock at the back of the train. They'll, they'll disagree about what time it is. This sounds, first of all, boring, second, weird, third, it's another one of these things that only shows up at high speeds, and finally, it, it doesn't sound at all related to your question, but, um, so let's talk about something way more cool. Let's talk about space invaders. Okay, I'm definitely down for this. So, the nearest galaxy to our own is the Andromeda Galaxy. It's about two million light years away, and if you're someplace really dark, you can actually see it with the naked eye at night. It looks like this fuzzy patch of light. That means the light that we see from the Andromeda Galaxy left two million years ago. And there might be aliens who live there. So let's say that there are aliens who live in the Andromeda Galaxy, right? And let's say that they decide that they want to invade the Milky Way. And specifically, they, they want to invade Earth. They want to kill all humans, you know, in true sci-fi fashion. Yeah, no, yeah. Totally prepared to accept that. Fine. Totally prepared. But, you know, they, they're not... They're not totally awful. They need to vote on this. They need to decide whether or not they're going to kill all humans, right? Because, you know, it's a big commitment. It takes two million years to get here, even at top speed. So they're going to make the decision tomorrow. Now, here's the interesting thing. You and Melissa, you're walking down the street, okay? And you're, you're walking down okay. the same street, but in opposite directions, just walking at normal speeds. None of this, you know, going at the speed of light nonsense. Do we high five when we see each other? Sure, you, you, you high five when you see each other. Yeah, of course you do. I mean, why not, right? Like, that's what you do when we you're walking down the street. We always do that. Right? Yeah. Well, you always do that. Yeah, exactly. Um, so you're walking down the street, you high five. At the moment that you high five each other, <laughs> Mike, who happens to be walking away from the Andromeda Galaxy at that moment, he thinks that the Andromeda Galaxy, that, that, that they're making the decision tomorrow. That they haven't voted yet. But Melissa... You think that they've already voted and that the fleet is already on its way. Relativity says that the two of you disagree about what is happening right now, two million light years away. And Relativity also says that neither of you is more right than the other, that, that, that it's just that what events are considered simultaneous depends on on your frame of reference. It depends on how fast you're going and in what direction. So according to one of you, the high five and the space fleet uh, actually leaving Andromeda happen at the same time, whereas according to the other one, the high five happened the day before the fleet left Andromeda. You were wrong. No, you're both right. Oh, you're both okay. right. So that means that from one of our points of view, this thing is already in the future, but from the other's point of view, yeah. it's actually already happened. So therefore, the future has already happened because neither. Of us yeah, is more there's right a, than the this. Other. This leads to this perspective that's uh, sometimes called the block universe. It says that time, all the things that that have happened and are happening and are going to happen, they're all sort of already. They already exist, and that the passage, our passage through time, 
is is just something it's a function of our perception like a, a mouse going through a block of cheese or something like that and so and so in some sense the future really is set it's just that we don't know what it is and can't perceive it maybe i mean this is i i wouldn't say that this proves that i would say it suggests it it means that if you want to argue against that you going to need to have a pretty good argument because the space invader argument is really compelling. <laughs>